am a future network news anchor who's super classy and has almost no fat on her body. It was a Chanel number four, but she got meningitis. She was like, I'm sick. I have to go home. And I was like, no, stay. But she went home anyway, and then she died. So another thing I was right about. Do you and your sister have some form of intellectual disability? He was carrying a shovel. There's nothing terrifying about that. I'm an American. I don't have to understand anything. I wasn't able to get Led Zeppelin. What? Well, apparently one of them died or something. Damn it, number five. Why didn't I kill the two pledges I actually hate? Dumbass Grace and stupid Zayday. I'm sorry, Kappa doesn't participate in the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Why are you laughing? Because, you leg humpers. I voted for Zayday. I thought you uh, couldn't uh, gesture. He wasn't gesturing, he was pointing. Uh, oh. Just like I would do for any of you if I wasn't busy that day. Instead of strutting across campus in a beautiful diamond formation, we were forced to strut across campus in a triad formation like a bunch of hobos. Are we gonna tell them that we burned Miss Bean's face off, thought she was dead, hid the body, then it came back to life and stabbed Chanel number two while we were all in the house? They're never gonna believe that. That's an insane story. I offer the following heartfelt sentiment. You can all suck it! We're gathered here today because a backstabbing little bitch got exactly what was coming to her. I have never seen anyone spend so much money to make a house look this tacky. I've honestly seen more tasteful decor at a Sizzler. We need to call the police. No, kitty puncher, that can wait. Hey, well, it's not my fault that some guy died in the 70s. Excuse me, then whose fault is it? Mine? Oh, I meant everything I said about you. I still think you're useless. I'm just not sad about it. Excuse me, Miss Hoberlin, are you cheating? God, no. Kaizi is my Asian. Thank you for making that announcement that no one cared about. Now, as well as allegations of bestiality. No one forced that goat to get as drunk as it got. That's on him. I am choosing to ignore this verdict. What? You can't ignore the verdict? What verdict? See, this is me ignoring the verdict. <coughs> Should I get number five a pair of 99 cent brass studs that'll turn her earlobes green and give her an infection? Or a pair of $1.99 danglies that'll get caught in her sweater and tear her ear holes. How did you get HPV? When were you in Mexico? Chanel Oberlin. What do you do with the clothes from last year? Burn them. Number five, don't go! Actually, I'm totally fine with her leaving. Does it look like the four of us are about to have sex right now, number five, huh? I'm sorry, did I ask you to pull down my panties and blow a compliment up my butt? Here's what we know. One, number five is a psychopath who no one likes. Two. Can I talk to you? In private. Private like the parts on a man you like putting in your mouth? When in reality, he has a disability and needs healthful, lactose-free goat's milk. She never said anything about a goat. Don't interrupt me when I'm talking to a dead girl. Oh yeah, number five. Let's just mosey on down to the hog district and bring home a 400 pound sow. That's not conspicuous at all. There wasn't enough time to file an injunction and that I clearly don't understand what an injunction is if I ask them to file one in this situation. I think you're a serial killer because I know you, number five. You bite your own toenails. This isn't an asp. It's a garter snake. No, it isn't. Look at its markings. What markings? This is a sweater. Will you please stop peppering your speech with indeed? Care to explain, chubby old Nazi? Two hours ago, you were like, let's poison the bitch! Well, I had a change of heart. I found this old talking board in the well, basement. Those things don't work. Yes, they do. Didn't you see the movie? The movie Ouija? No, no one did. Looks like the bitch apple doesn't fall far from the bitch tree. Actually, number five, that story is neither scary nor amazing. I'll say it again, I don't know why we're doing this. Okay, drunk on wine is still drunk, mother. And keep them on you at all times. I like the phone I already have. These phones are better, trust me. Kicks, you choked on dicks? Kicks. I choked on kicks. Thank you, guys. I will never be able to repay you for the kindness you've shown me in here. Besties for life, I say. Overland, the bill's been posted. Later, losers. Someone has, in fact, contemplated killing you, if not attempted it outright. Who? Your very housemate, Libby Putney. You know her as Chanel Number 5. Chanel Number 5's real name is Libby Putney? Why am I Mary Todd Link? <sighs> God, do I have to spell it out for you? You're out of your friggin' gourd, Number 5. You're a weird, psycho lunatic who's gonna end up in an asylum somewhere, staring at a wall, trying to nurse a watering can. You're a Mary Todd Lincoln, if ever there was one.